الفاتحة اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نويت الأربعين نويت الاعتكاف نويت الخلوة نويت العزلة نويت الرياضة نويت السلوك لله تعالى العظيم في هذا المسجد نوينا الصيام as we said in the previous session prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said if Musa alayhi salam was living, he has he was not able except to follow me. Because you have to follow the one that he is higher than you. Also in in Sharia, you have to follow the one who is more knowledgeable than you. Also in Hakikah, you have to follow the one that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided him to the right path and his knowledge is more than you, you have to follow that one. So the continuation of the previous session is that Sayyidina Abdul Wahhab al-Sha'rani, one of the big scholars in Islam, said, إِذَا رَأَيْتَ أَحَدُهُمْ أَعْرَفُ مِنِّي بِالطَّرِيقِ إِذَا رَأَيْتُ أَحَدَهُمْ أَعْرَفُ مِنِّي بِالطَّرِيقِ تَلَمَّسْتُ عَلَيْهِ وَلَوْ كُنْتُ مَأْدُونًا لِي قَبْلَ ذَلِكَ مِنْ شَيْخٍ آخر He said, if I see in my way, in my journey, because that journey never ends. Whatever you do, it never ends. It's continue difficult. And, and you have to face all these difficulties until you will be able to reach the highest level of peacefulness and relaxation as it happened with Prophet wasallam, that all his life was obstacles although he is the seals of messengers Allah chose Allah made him perfect he made him an insan al kamil, the perfect human being. Com- he completed him. Means he- prophet, insan kamil means he is the perfect. Means he Allah made him to reach perfection. When you reach perfection, means you are. Not here, you are in the Divine Presence. So, because Divine Presence cannot accept, cannot accept, accept perfection. Allah's Presence can, will not accept except perfection. And in Akhirah, when Allah said, believers to Jannah, 
they, he made them to reach perfection. Or else they cannot see him in paradise. As Prophet said, that Allah will be seen in paradise. And that paradise is the highest paradise, cannot accept and allow accept perfection. There are other paradises lower than that, that all kind of different people enters in different levels of these paradises, but the highest one cannot accept, except those who reach that level of perfection that they can be, they can see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Prophet وسلم, Allah made him in dunya perfect. He reached Kaaba Kawsaini, Awadna. So his perfection let him, may, let him or made him to be in the divine presence in when he was alive. So. He is that one that has to be followed. So that's why awliyaullah they say that this journey is long because you cannot reach perfection. Why? Because Allah said, وَفَوْكَ كُلِّ ذِي عِلْمٍ عَلِيمٍ Above every knower, there is a knower. Means above, in everything there is above. Above never ends. Infinite of, of aboves, if you can say that. No limits of levels in different stations. If you move one station, there is another one, another one, another one. So Prophet وسلم, all his life was difficult and he was he was saying La Rahata Fiddin there is no relaxation or peace in religion. You have to keep struggling. <laughs> and Prophet was struggling until he reached Nasrullah. <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفره إنه كان ثوابا إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح وأن الله سبحانه وتعالى سبورت كانت you will see people entering in big numbers into that path, that way. So Allah gave to Prophet وسلم, that Nasr, that, that to win, that victory. And Allah made the inheritors of Prophet وسلم, that they are capable of ha giving victory to their followers to enter into their hazira, their garden, to enter inside that garden that they are taking care of it and be safe. And they will be guided toward that road which is going to reach you to be in the presence of Prophet Wasallam. That's why he said, Abdul Wahab Sha'arani and many other awliya, if I found someone who is more knowledgeable than me in, the, in this way, in this past, I will be a student to him. 
I will beca- became a student for him. Not to say, no, I don't want to be a student. No, you, you always follow and listen to what someone who is knowing more than you go and sit in his association. Don't say, no, I, I have no permission. No. Especially in the same order you are, all of you, listen to each other, don't argue. You might get wisdom out. (coughs) He said, even if I was given authority, permission to make teachings or zikrullah, if I found someone in that tariqah who knows more than me, I will listen to what he says. Even one ma'zun in the east, one ma'zun in the west, or one ma'zun in the north, or one ma'zun in the south. If you find someone that is more knowledgeable than you, follow, go and listen to what he's saying. If that one in the south is, knows more than the one on the east, or the west, or the north, go and listen. No, don't say, I am the sheikh. You are not the sheikh. He said, that's why I used to move from one sheikh to listen to one sheikh to another. لأن المقامات ليس لها حد عاقف عليه العبد. Levels, it doesn't have a limit. That the servant will stop at it. No, there is always ascension. Go to the higher. So, Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided us to the highest. But that does not mean when you are in an association, if you are not in the presence of Sultan al Awliya, but you know that there is one ma'zun who is higher than you, go and sit and listen. You will learn. Not everything is being given to you. So try to humble yourself. فَإِذًا وُجِبَ عَلَى الشَّيْخِ لِزُومُ خِدْمَةِ الشَّيْخِ الْأَكْمَلِ مِنْهُ It is obligatory on on that one who is not who is knowing himself he is lower than the other sheikh to sit and listen to that sheikh as it happened and the example in holy quran don't say where it is because today they say, oh, where it is? Mm-hmm. They, they are being authorized to give zikr and lecture. They feel that they are so high, they don't want, and they prevent their, uh, those who follow them, prevent them from listening to someone else. That is sickness in them. They tell them, no, don't go to that one. He doesn't know anything. We are the one that knows everything. If that is the case, why Allah has sent Sayyidina Musa to Sayyidina Khadr? Hmm? Who's higher? Sayyidina Musa higher. But still, he sends him. Because there is a knowledge there, with Sayyidina Al-Khadr, that Sayyidina Musa was not given. Go learn, go, go see that knowledge, seek, seek that journey. So he went into a journey with his servant, in order to de- meet that one servant, that gave him a different taste. 
So with everyone there is a taste that the other one doesn't carry. So if that is the case with Sayyidina Al-Khudr and Sayyidina Musa, that is a sign for us to say that, oh, if we are not near our perfect teachers, Sayyid Sheikh Muhammad Nazim Al-Haqqani Sultan Al-Awliya, then we have to be wherever you, we see someone coming who is higher than us to our area, he will be the one who will conduct the sahaba and will listen all. But today, today is it is apple and oranges are together in one basket. What you can do? So the one that the one that who does not humble himself and listen to those who are higher than him he never will smell the smell of tariqah because he refused to go to a higher paradise because one paradise opened to you another paradise you reach the second paradise you sit in it you will be inside, it will open at the third one. Third one open to the fourth one. You cannot open the first, you cannot be in the first and open the fourth. It's impossible. Today these, uh, these uh, children, even children knows more than us. Children games, you know, what do you call them? Huh? Video games? Yeah, video games. I, sometimes I see children playing, especially in, not here, in Cyprus. They are playing these games, and they you you finish that part successful, it open another. It open another no. level, and but it it goes like a gate. It open another level. You move through it, it open another level. Subhanallah, as if these people who made the games, they are inspired in their hearts from one level to another. They don't jump you to the last level, from first level to last level. No, you go one after one. In order to reach the highest. So, if someone does not do in this way from one level to another level he is going to stay in the first level and he never going to reach his destiny his goal the one that was able awliyaullah in the previous time they were never giving bay'ah before their before the student reach certain levels. Not like today, Bayah is, Morana is giving, spreading it quickly, because time is short and ignorance filling the dunya. With wisdom he is giving. But before, no. The murid has to reach a certain level of a journey in order that they give him Bayah. And before the Sheikh gives the bay'ah to the murid, he has to be, to be having a vision or a dream from Prophet wasallam authorizing him to give bay'ah to that one. The bay'ah was difficult to get. And I said it many times. Grand Sheikh never, I never saw him give bay'ah to anyone. But we know only two that being given. All these, they come to him, he never put his hand with their hand and recite 
ayatul bayah. Never. They come, they sit in and say, "We are, you are our sheikh." To, to the, previously, they used to give bayah is in the way that Sayyidina Jibril alayhi salam, when he came, and is narrated by Sayyidina Umar that hadith, he came, entered, entered in the presence of Prophet and Sahaba were sitting. Shadidu bayad siyab, he had. Uh, very bright white, shining white, that is impossible to have something like that in that time, in that area. It's dust there, desert. Doesn't have any sign of traveling. Entered on the picture of a man sitting on his knees, and Prophet sat in front of him in, on his knees. So they were facing each other, knees uh, touching the, uh, the, the, the knees of the other, both of them. And their hands on their thighs. So, in Tariqa, the way of what you say disseminating transmission of bay'ah is ha- it has to be in such a way as Sayyidina Jibreel was in the presence of Prophet وسلم, on the knees and putting their hands on the thigh so the Sheikh has to make first to receive an authorization from Prophet وسلم, that night through istikhara And Prophet said in the hadith, Ma khaba man istakhar. What? Never fail the one who... Never fail the one who make istikhara, who will ask. Because that answer comes from high level. And one... 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 Incident, the only incident that we know that happened in this way was when Sheikh al Asuni in Istanbul, when Maulana Sheikh Nazim was young and went to him to stake Bayah went to him to follow him he said to him oh my son your amana is not with me he didn't say no come I give you by quickly to win one <laughs> to get one inside no he said no they know their limits he said no your amana is not with me your amana is with someone in Damascus Go find him. Sheikh Abdullah Dastani. How he knew? No relationship. It was world war. Big war. In any case, story short, he went moving from one place to another, one place to another, to go to where? To Damascus, to Maulana Sheikh, Grand Sheikh, may Allah bless his soul, to take bayah. That is the only incident that we, we know about, and this is from Grand Sheikh, he mentioned it. So he went all the way until passing by Aleppo, reaching Hama, reaching Hamas, city of Hamas, War is so fierceful in Damascus, French and uh, English fighting with each other inside Damascus. And Maulana landed finally in Hamas, stayed one year in Sayyidina, Abdu, uh, Sayyidina Khalid al-Baghdadi, uh, 
سيدنا خالد بن الوليد مقام is buried in Hummus studying there Sharia and reading not going out he has one room like Khalwa then he at the end of the year he went slowly slowly moving toward Damascus and he doesn't know where to go he ended up in a place called Midan Al Midan still today existing and he was asking do anyone do do anyone knows a Dagestani sheikh here and so on they said yes there why you went to that area didn't go to Marshi for example or to an area called Rukn al-Din or Abu Rumana or whatever area in Syria Damascus Allah guided him he reached that door the house wants to knock and Grand Sheikh opened the door he said come he said Ya Sayyidi I am coming in my way they send me to you I'm going to my way for Hijrah in Madina to Munawara. He said, You stay here tonight. I'm going to make istikhara. That is the formal way. So that's why we are bringing back to Ma Khaba Man Istakhar, as Prophet said. Ma Khaba Man Istakhar. Uh, you you will not you will not be disappointed if you will make istikhara if you will request to see a dream from Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, Tonight I will make istikhara for you and I give you the answer tomorrow. Go sleep. Rest. Give him food. Rest. Not not, not nothing. They didn't talk more. And he said next day after Fajr, he said, Ya Waladi there is no permission for you to go Madina to Munawara. Go back to your country. They are more in need there. He sat, the same sitting as Sayyidina Jibreel and Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Murid to Sheikh, gave him Ba'a, sent him back. Where is war? Go back and go to Saudi. He didn't say no. Let's see how much uh, belief. First time meeting the sheikh, giving him an order to go back where he was all his intention and living that, uh, uh, what to say, living it, uh, living that intention that he is counting the days that he's going to go to Madinah to Munawara and be Mujawar there. So what's Mujawar? Yeah. To be near there, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. As if he blow up all his uh, expectations. expectations. No, it's not according to your expectation. It's according to our decisions. People, they might expect a lot, but awliyaullah, they will change it for you. They will cut it down. Then the Sheikh passed that bayah to that murid, one by one. And passed to him what he needs to know from Tariqa. Then he will take, after they are sitting, then he takes his right hand with the right hand of the Murid, as you are shaking hands, and then he recite, after they make istighfar, both of them, then he will recite Ayatul Bay'ah, Inna yubayuna ka inna yubayuna Allah. 
then they close their eyes as soon as they close their eyes these eyes the physical eyes the eyes of the heart by the power of the sheikh open this is the real bayah not the all of them real with Maulana's Baraka, but that is the formal, strong one. As soon as they close their eyes, the Sheikh with his power from Prophet ﷺ opened the eyes of the heart of his Murid. So he, when he opens his eyes, he will see himself in a different level and that level cannot be described you feel your you feel goosebumps huh? your whole body is numb receiving and you be able at that moment to begin Zikrullah by Ismud that the Sheikh will begin to put on your tongue and on your heart we say in Arabic talqeen he will put the talqeen like how you make talqeen for the deceased person you stand at his grave and you make talqeen iskur ya abdullah ma kharajta alayhi min dar dunya ila dar al akhirah shahadatu an la ilaha illa allah وحده لا شريك له وشهادة أن محمد رسول الله. Today they do it. They throw the body. They run for inheritance. Or those who came to uh, to be together with the family, they go running for food because food is uh, being already cooked for the for the on behalf of the de deceased people. They give them food because they came all the way to the graveyard. Yalla, go back eat. Everyone is running to eat rice and meat. So that talqeen from the sheikh's tongue and the sheikh's heart to the murid's tongue and to the murid's heart. Talqeen is smooth that. The name, beautiful name, encompassing all names and attributes, means Allah. And I'm speaking in the Naqshbandi order. ثُمَّ يَذْكُرُ الشَّيْخِ بِقَلْبِهِ إِسْمُ الذَّاتِ عَلَى نِيَةِ التَّلْقِينِ وَالتَّعْلِيمِ لِقَلْبِ الْمُرِيدِ ثَلَاثًا بِالْمَدِّ وَالْحُدُورِ كَأَنَّهُ يُشَاهِدُ الْمَلَكُ الْغَفُورِ as if he is in the divine presence, they open for him to see as if he is in the divine presence, visualizing what he was not able to see before, seeing something that he was not able to see, his heart is sh bump pumping and shaky, and he put, and he will, Ismullah, he say Allah, Allahu, 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 Haq. Three times. What the Murid receive in that, in this moment, from hidden treasures, only to the Murid, no one, Murid has no right, that Murid, that one, special one, has no right to say what the Sheikh opened to his heart. And this will be a secret. So that will give us an idea, the difference between our, what we understand from Baya and what is the reality of Baya. 
and you can compare now which which one is more stronger what we uh, we are receiving today or what they were receiving before which stronger yeah. in reality what you are receiving today is more higher because but you cannot see it it will be given without your knowledge before you will be given but they will let your body to know what you will be given so you can feel that daily in your life that ecstasy that contentment and you can visualize these levels that they have put you in and from that level you will be ascending because you will not give, be given that by her unless you have went into that journey and you were seeking the different levels the lover level the beginner level the to be ready means darajat al muhibbin darajat al mubtadi'in darajat al mustaiddin three levels you have to achieve before you leave you reach darajat al muridin so when you achieve that they will take you to darajat al muridin that's why uh, the murid in the nakshman the order is like a sheikh in in other ways because he will not be given until he will be very like a mountain then he will be given that uh baya at that time so in previous you are not, you were you are not getting it until you go into these three stations first the three level then you become murid then you be take the baya now they give you the baya because there is no too much ignorance never mind they are not allowed to see it because they don't give uh, diamonds to children we are children they cannot trust us with the diamonds but they keep your diamonds for you say okay that is the box we'll keep it for you and not open it because we it's safer here but for the previous one no they open it for them and they put it in their in their finger so you can see what they are giving you because you have already passed through these three different levels here if we stay in the level of muhabbin oh is a great job you did so that the sheikh at that time he is giving him ism ismuzat on his tongue and his heart by saying allahu and that's allah who who allah means from the beautiful name allah you reach you have to go further into the absolute unknown of the reality of the essence as it is mentioned in surah al-ikhlas bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim qul ya muhammad say to them qul huwa the unknown is allah so as the murid you begin with the opposite at the end allah huwa you begin because allah can be described through 99 names wallahu alladhi la ilaha illa huwa arrahman arrahim almalik alquddus assalam so you you will understand the meaning of allah through the beautiful names that leads you that to know that huwa 
who is completely the reality is uh, you will never reach it you will never know about it it's in Allah's hands in Allah's treasures say ya Muhammad the one who cannot be known is Allah so for us we begin with Allah that's why it's Muzzat Allah then what we say after that who we don't begin with who and then end up with Allah. We begin with Allah and end up in who. But in Holy Quran you begin with who and in Allah. And then as soon as you, he gives you that, you will, you will see visions of the divine presence in a different colorful way of the different beautiful names and attributes. There you begin to mention, to istighfar, making istighfar, reading the Fatiha and reading the Ikhlas, and you will be put in the chain of shiyukh. إِلَى السِّلْسِلَ وَالرَّابِطَ لِشَيْخِهِ Then you will be connected to that chain. And you, and every moment you have to know, and you must know if you leave it behind or you drop it from your heart, you are making mistake. That's why they don't give bayah until you are sure of of whom you are taking, and you are connected to. You cannot one day summa aman, one day summa kafar means one day you believe you are with with the strong. With Maulana Sheikh, one day say, oh no, um, I don't know, I have to, no. <laughs> That's why they don't give as today. They were, they, uh, today and Maulana is giving, but before, no, until you are known that you are not going to change. And you have to believe that your Sheikh is inheritor of Prophet Wasallam at all times. He is Naibun An. He represents him. في تربية الخلق والإرشاد. He he is he represents the knowledge that he is being given to him through the heart of Prophet sallallahu in order to raise up his murids and to raise up people who comes and listen to him and guide them. ولذلك قال عليه السلام ذكر الله شفاء القلوب. Allah to mention Allah سبحانه وتعالى is cure for hearts. أخرجه الدليلي في مسند الفردوس. So that's all is being done because you are connected to al insan al kamil. Mashayikh of different tariqahs. Their end, the connection is Al Insanul Kamil, the perfect human being. And who is the perfect human being? It's Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We'll continue next time that insha'Allah wa min Allahi tawfiq bi harmatil fatiha. So, the bayah before has its own taste and you feel able to know things that you never knew because the body is allowed to see what the soul is seeing. They give a time for, they give a, an allowance or a they give you password for that, they allow it. To, and you are a seeker in that journey. But today, the bayah is general, and you be given more, but you are not allowed to see because you are not yet ready. Before you are ready, you see. Today you are not ready, you cannot see. Before it was less, 
today is once it is higher. But it depends on the power of the sheikh. So, try to reach the real bay'ah, then you will be able to taste the taste of fruit, not only to see the fruit, but you taste them. And that is what is the end goal of Awliya Allah on their followers what to give them. A tasty, tasty garden that you move from one to another and taste the honey and the fruits. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May Allah bless us with hurmat al-hari, hurmat al-fatiha. Enough. 45 minutes.